Welcome everyone to Genius with Just Commentary. So we're gonna check out a video once again from Mac Win. Of course, this one is entitled Authentic East and Street Food in Bangkok, Thailand. Of course, thank you so very much for requesting this video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, guys. If you want me to react to the video, don't forget, of course, you can leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Hey everyone, it's Mark Wins with migrationology.com and eatingthaifood.com in Bangkok, Thailand. I have just Whoa. come Street food, to of course, a restaurant Thailand. for lunch. This place is called uh -huh. Somtam Jeso. And it's right in Kilo. Somtam. Is Kilo that Road um, is right papaya? behind us, but we're in the kind of the neighborhood. And then Convent Road is just to the left here. Wow. This place is extremely popular Whoa. in this is area that crab? for Somtam, which is green papaya salad crab. and all sorts of Isan dishes as well. Green papaya, They're is really it? Nice yeah, papaya here. We like just it. ordered up a bunch of food and <laughs> I'm that shivering that with excitement. It looks so good. <laughs> That is a serious lot of food to eat. This restaurant gets extremely busy at lunch, catering to a lot of uh -huh. office workers in this area because this is a real downtown area of Bangkok. Wow. And so we're here a little bit early. It's about 11.30. But if you come more like 12, this place will just be packed out. And Field. not only not only will it be packed out for wow. seating, but a lot of people call ahead and order. So oh, they're wow. doing like big bags of takeaway some thumb green papaya salad back to your office oh wow okay and so they get a big queue of orders so you got to come here a little bit so early, early at least that's what yeah. i recommend and that's definitely what you should got do here in time we got a seat out here on the sidewalk and then they also have some seating inside and all of the food has just been prepared this is a salad called tampa wow and it is a i can see a crab in there there is some green papaya in here i think is that not oh, a crab some noodles in here some kind of jean there are it's packed. Look at all of those dried chilies and just those seeds. Either a crab there or shrimp or something. Here. This is um, sawtooth herb. There's crab in here. And I this knew is it. Some kind of a like a snail type of a thing. I can't remember the name <laughs> of it, but anyway, this is a mixture of everything. As oh, a man, lot of pepper. And it just the aroma and the pepper of this seeds can probably be I can smelled see seeds. all the way down the street. That fishy, <laughs> murky, beautiful aroma to it. Oh, I gotta take a bite. Wow. Mm, delicious, isn't it? <laughs> if you read Mac with this, I wonder if Mac ever eats something you regret, like as close you didn't like. As you can get to Isan in Bangkok as possible. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Oh, the flavor is so I don't like so to see the, the, the sauce and itself. Pungent. And then I like to see the sauce. Those, um, those the food looks interesting. I don't like crabs. Things. They're, yeah, they taste like snails, kind of like a squid snails. texture, so a little bit uh, chewy, but then a, kind of a neutral flavor, or probably because that pala, that, that pala I like that, fish sauce, that pala, I like it's what I've been in the spoon, I don't like which to see is a it, beautiful honestly. thing. And then those noodles Reminds me of something are, I ate before I didn't like. Um, kind of jean noodles, so they are soft What is that yellow thing in there? Is that a mango? Dry peppers. Wow. They, they provide just an extraordinary heat that's, that's not pepper. and an extraordinary the yellow thing is not dry chili flavor, which is different from the fresh chili flavor. Oh no, what was that? <laughs> Imagine you're in the street and you're passing a Mac and you're like, going on in that bite. I'm like, what is he doing? It's almost <laughs> impossible to describe. All I can say is it's just... Uh, it's just Delicious. a mouthful of joy. We also got tamsua, which is this is something uh, This was which is the green papaya salad with fermented crab and fermented fish sauce. But fermented it also crab. includes no. uh, the kanamjin rice noodles. So this is kind of like a complete I dish like all in one. You have your your vegetables. You have it your carbs. delicious, but you see the sauce. It reminds me of the crab. That is that is why I say I don't like it. Just the whole the whole dry chilies which will definitely catch you by surprise and I make you crab happy legs, it? and there's a lot of garlic in here chilies. look at all those seeds yeah like the pepper seeds that's a lot of pepper seeds in there <laughs> delicious isn't it that is extraordinary salad delicious wow that is just nice unbelievably good it is so salty. It mm -hmm. has that pungency from the fish sauce. It has <laughs> like that sourness from lime juice. <laughs> you get the crispy texture of the green papaya. And then I also uh -huh. like tamsua because you also get those silky rice noodles in there which contrast that texture. Mm. And then finally after all those textures, 
you get yeah. you bite into that whole chili and it <laughs> hey. just burns your throat going I down. I can well imagine so. It's a very light meal, it looks like a very peeling meal, it's very light. It feels like there's a fire down my throat and I love it. I'm gonna need some sticky rice. Ah, the oh, famous sticky and that rice. Is fresh sticky rice. Oh, it's so nice and soft. So what makes it sticky? Like, do they put sugar in it or something? Why is it sticky rice? Why is it the type of rice that's <laughs> some oh, well, interesting flavor? <laughs> oh. that Elisa just fell down. flavor. And then the sticky rice. It is I think it's really easy. Fresh, so just leave. It doesn't have any crunchy edges. Just soft and sticky. Okay, I also got Very some lab. Ooh, this looks nice. Is lab wow. meat salad with beef and. So she added in some minced beef, then she added in some tripe. There's some liver liver in here. There are some shallots. You can actually see the kernels of the kakua, which wow. is the, the powdered sticky rice, which will give it crunch. Oh. There's dry chili in there. There are shallots, oh. there are green onions, and that looks sensational. Delicious. Wow. <laughs> it's delicious, isn't it? You can really taste the shallots in there and the green onions, and also that kakua, that sticky rice powder, uh, which you can actually see on powder. it. Imagine taking popcorn kernels and just like uh -huh. grinding them into a coarse powder and then seasoning meat with it. So it has that crunch, it has that smokiness, and you have everything in there. that meat, the fish sauce, there's some lime uh -huh. juice in there, and then I really love those shallots. Next bite I'm going in for a piece of tripe. Tripe? Wow. So exactly the peaches and rich looking meal, honestly. Because I know I just love rich it's and a wonderful thick meals. Thick. Mm. Why do we have to be cut? Wow. I'm gonna take this sauce, you know, sauce you can taste really see the spoon through the sauce. Like but this looks very Another delicious. Thing that just about everybody Ooh, comes wow. to your orders yeah. is called which is grilled beef pork beef? neck pork. or pork okay. collar. Or the and neck. Sometimes oh, wow. at Thai restaurants or Isan restaurants they don't use the uh, real pork collar, but I'm pretty sure this is the real deal here. Uh, this you looks can see clear. that marbling and then you can see those beautiful grilled marks and I didn't I wasn't actually anticipating ordering this dish actually wow. but on the right hand side they have an entire cabinet filled with grilled pork neck hanging from <laughs> the glass cabinet and that was by far enough this. to <laughs> urge me to order a plate. I know. <laughs> this is a Look at these just, they're like strands wow. of grilled wow, pork neck. Look at that delicious. marbling action. And then those grill <laughs> marks, that ratio. I'm going to dip it real fast. Oh, and what's that? <laughs> oh, my keeps everyone so on their wow. feet. Makes you want to just go in there and to. <laughs> a baby could eat that. That is not even soft and tender. You don't even need to chew. I cannot think wow. of a time when I've had better grilled pork neck in Thailand. That Damn, is this one. sensational. It's like Kobe beef, but pork. Right behind what is this the one? pork stall, they had a couple of pots of boiling pig parts and some guts in boiling there, and so I had to order a bowl of thumb sap, which is. Um, it's, kinda, it's a, similar to tom yum, but it's the Isan version, and this is a sour soup. Oh, there's a bunch oh, of this is like thin um, potato? turnips or radishes, Papaya? daikon, I think it's daikon. Uh, there's um, some chilies in here, there are mushrooms, we have something like that there with are What's pork ribs, ribs. there I are God, I forgot. Uh, um, a lot of intestines. Sauce. Oh, right. intestine. sauce. Let me just mix all this up. I think she told me to mix it all up. Oh, even, even needle mushrooms in there, wow. That is a, wow. a surprise addition. I gotta have an intestine for my first bite. Oh. No. It's everything on the piano. Wow. Just like <laughs> that piece of tripe. The uh -huh. intestine is so tender. Wow. I, I barely even need to bite. Sometimes intestines can be kind you of. You don't have to tell me it's intestine. Um, if you ever tell me it's intestine, I will not eat it. That is really, really I don't want to try it. That intestine not is the intestine. so tender. Oh. I and you can have to see it. To like melted cheese. It's so tender. Wow, let me try some, try some of the broth. Well, then again, I might have eaten it before, oh, yeah. but I don't think it was That's that thick. 
We have something called black pudding in Dominica. Oh man, I, I have to do all this so to see. Like I, I will soon when we better off in Dominica when I feel back to normal. I will try to do videos about the scenes. So it's like you're taking the blood of the pea or the yeah, cow pea, and then you're seasoning it up and then cooking it in this in the intestine, and it's like a sausage to pizza sort of thing. What is that? Not wings? Not chicken wings? <laughs> this is what we call chicken wings, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Delicious. I know exactly why everybody orders the chicken wings. Oh, man. I know, right? Eh? That tastes like, wow. like literally, the marinade has gone oh, all the wow. way to the bone. So the entire. You're making piece me hungry now. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. It's just filled with flavor. I can taste maybe some fish sauce, a little bit of palm huh? sugar, definitely, and maybe some um, cilantro roots in the marinade. I have no idea what wow. else. Probably a bunch of things, but that flavor. You know what I really like that the background, the way he is doing this video, is quiet. I, I like. It's the same sauce as the sauce for the kalmuyan. So very the low. Neck. It's a little bit sweet and tamarindy, and oh. then a little bit I'm of. I'm gonna try it now. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, it's like Delicious. sweet tamarind. Wow. To your grilled chicken, it's very good. Oh. Um, but even this chicken is so good, you barely need any uh, sauce because hey. that flavor is so And the line is coming in. Look at this. Delicious. He was right. Like, look at the super right there. <laughs> Take oh, it easy, man. It is rare that I cry <laughs> from the food, but I am crying. And the hot, I think it is a combination of both the chilies <laughs> and tears of happiness right oh. now. Oh gosh, I don't like spicy food. Isan is the giant northeastern region of Thailand, and in Bangkok you will find just countless wow, amounts of restaurants and true food stalls that serve Isan food. But it is rare to wow. find Isan food this good in Bangkok. This is the wow. absolute real deal. This area is um, the downtown district of Bangkok, and so a lot of uh, office workers come here for lunch. And yeah. so right now, look at that over there. Crowds down in right. the restaurant, and it's the line is people. already getting there. People actually call ahead, well, to order, like I said before, wow. but also they call ahead to reserve tables so they can yeah. come and sit down. And now there's just a big crowd standing outside waiting for it. <laughs> so you do kind of. So you gotta go. Uh, but. <laughs> This is the serious, real deal Isan wow. restaurant, and they're really That's nice. That's good. I love Thank when the restaurant gets a lot of serious. Please remember to give very it a thumbs active. up if you enjoyed you it. There. I will write all about this restaurant over on eatingthaifood.com, so go check that uh, out. Ah, he's Subscribe got a website. Food videos, and I will see you on the next video. Good video. Of course, thank you very much for subscribing to Juno Switch. Pick any more video. I am really sweating. <laughs> Just from I can't imagine so. so. I'm gonna have to wipe my, wipe my face real fast before we start the video. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievably good. Uh, so powerfully flavorful. And I am just, I'm probably rambling right now because my mouth is just tingling with what? flavor. No, like, <laughs> yeah. I have tears. I have tears. <laughs> you know because you know, this is hot. Wonderful plate of something uh, <laughs> when your eyes are kind of glossy. Yeah, he's like, look at his eyes, like... Oh, man. <laughs> wow, it was delicious. <laughs> Come back again, nice. Oh, wow, what right, a good video you guys requested, of course. Authentic Isan Street Food in Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you very much for requesting this video. Subscribe to Jules with just commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, don't forget, of course, leave a comment below. And I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.